Hey fellow vault dwellers, it's Angry Turtle and today I have a little bit different video for you. It's about swapping your allies. If you don't know why would you do that, the answer is simple. Allies offer some unique and powerful items that you can purchase and they do offer multitudes of very helpful buffs. The problem is at one time you can have only one at your camp. And if you want to swap your ally, it cannot be using its platform or building or device like Joey Bell. If he's using this microphone and stage, you cannot destroy it. If he's not using it, destroying it is free and you can replace it with any other one. So now how to do this notation? I figure out amazing solution. Basically the contraption that bugs out AI of your ally, making it almost impossible for it to use its item. It's not completely impossible. I notice allies successfully getting to its item eventually. Usually takes a lot of time and most of the time they're very unsuccessful. So let me demonstrate. First, what you will need it's two pieces of floor, foundation, doesn't matter really what kind of foundation I'm using, a basic one, then you need one wall, again it doesn't matter which wall, and one roof, it doesn't matter which roof, but it needs to be flat, so one flat piece of roof, and then stairs, and here it actually does matter, you want the regular one, not the fancy one, the regular straight steel stairs. And this is the contraption that absolutely bugs out AI. And as a bonus, uh, if somehow Ally will manage to use its item, I will show you a quick workaround. But first, now, when you are placing Ally for the swap, it's important, only one thing is important. Make sure that the entrance to Ally item is close to the stairs. That's all it needs to be. So I place it. Now the ally will spawn somewhere and will be running towards its item. Sometimes it will try to spawn close to item, sometimes farther away. So you can see that's Joey Bello and he's already getting distracted, keeps running around. Let me demonstrate what will be happening. Okay, he's here. He is attempting to use the stairs. He does not know how because stairs normally are not, are not connected to the roof piece. He's attempting to teleport to his station and failing teleporting underneath. Something's wrong. Something does not add up. I cannot teleport. I'm trying to get there and I cannot. That's what Joey Bello is thinking in his head. Attempting to teleport himself on the station. I'm so proud of myself that I figured out such a quick and simple contraption to bug ally AI. And now even though his AI is bugged, he will still defend your camp and it's fully functioning so you can access his services you can ask him to roast you and he will give you very awesome fireproof buff uh, then you can access of course his shop his store inventory i can check if i'm interested in any particular item i can purchase it i don't need it at this moment but yeah he's selling a lot now if i want to swap it's as simple as that. I open the build menu and because he's not using an item, I can scrap it and can place another one. Let's say I want now experience buff. So I will place the second one and you can see the guy already running over there. Yep, he's already running over there. Now the workaround. If somehow your ally will manage to use its item. In that case scenario, you will need to go under turrets and traps and you are using a flame trap this one if you place a flame trap somewhere like in here aiming for the roof part the roof part can be destroyed so if you place it in here and activate it it will destroy the roof and therefore the ally item will go into the storage then you just go into your stored items and destroy it Oh, he managed to teleport to the stairs. So that's probably the rare case scenario. 
that allies succeeded in getting in there. So as I said, sometimes they do succeed, but they do always struggle. So you should have more than enough time to swap them over. And here you can see when he's using item, you cannot scrap it. So maybe I, if he stays a little bit, I can demonstrate the flamethrower trap. So I just place it somewhere so it aims at the roof. You don't actually need to plug in the power. It can be triggered manually, so you just trigger it on. Now it should hit the ceiling. I mean the roof piece. There it is. And now after you destroy it, the ally will be still hanging out. And after you destroy it, it is good to move this ladder around. So when you fix it, there is no way that ally will instantly jump onto onto the item, then the item can be removed. Ladder can be put back where it should be, and then I can use another ally. I can do full rotation of all the allies that I want to use with this contraption. Now another ally will be coming and I will be able to use the buff. Yeah, the flame tower over time will be breaking from usage. That's how traps works. And then you need to repair it to use it again. That's a downside, but I would not rely on Flame Trower too much. For most part, I think it's only happening once a week that I need to do it. Outside of that, I can do full ally rotation and they are so confused. I have no problem with that. So now I can talk with Leo and let's use his services. Give him a new Coca-Cola and maybe Quantum for you, Leo. And uh, I have buff from Leo and he's attempting, as you can see, he's attempting to get on his chair, but failing. So that's the, that's the most beautiful part. They always, almost always fail. And what I do recommend when you are not at your camp and if you don't need to use your ally as a camp defense system, always scrap ally item when not in use that make it less likely that any of your allies will bug out when you actually do need to use them. I hope this uh, little contraption will be helpful at those couple tips how to rota rotate all the allies. If you need to figure out what and which ally is doing, I have like ally tier list as well on my channel so we can check that out. And that being said, thank you all for watching and see you all in the next one.